Hi, everybody. Thanks for visiting RankSports.com. He's Jeff Reinhardt. I'm Keith Schweigert, and we're here to preview one of our two spotlight games for Week 9 of the LL League football season, the big Section 3 clash between Lancaster Catholic and Anvil Cleona. I'm going to be blogging live from the game, which is going to get underway Friday at 7 in Rossmere Stadium. And Jeff, the Crusaders have already clinched a share of the Section 3 title, and they're looking to lock up the top seeding in districts. Mm. Anvil, on the other hand, they're just trying to keep whatever slim playoff hopes they have alive. How do you see the two teams stacking up here? Uh, I see Catholic wanting to take care of business and wrap up the Section title, quite frankly. I uh, saw Catholic last week, and they really stomped on Columbia. After Columbia made it a bit of a game in the second quarter, in the second half, uh, Catholic came out and just put its foot down. That's enough. <laughs> um, Anvil's been eliminated from the section race. Uh, this is Anvil's last section game. They had their last non-leaguer in Week 10. So I think Catholic just wants to take care of business here, quite frankly. They're number one in the league in all kinds of fun stats. I think they want to take care of business and just kind of put their foot down and clinch the section, get to Week 10 healthy and then worry about playoff seeds and go from there. So I expect Catholic to take care of business here. I think they're in that kind of mode. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that Anvil can do to, to slow down Catholic? I mean, the Crusaders have a very balanced offense. Oh, they yeah. do a lot on uh, both in the rushing game and in the passing game, mm -hmm. whereas Anvil's struggled quite a bit defensively, yeah, so have. it doesn't look like it's a very good matchup. But, but what can they do to, yeah. to sort of slow the Crusaders down. Dutchmen are 21st in the league in total defense. They're giving up over 360 yards a game. That's a bunch. Uh, the one fun stat for Anvil this season that I followed, they're a plus 12 in turnover ratio. That's second best in the league. Catholic's number one at plus 14. So Anvil's been kind of opportunistic. They've turned people over. I've seen Catholic a couple times now, and, and both times I've seen them, they've had turnovers. They fumbled a punt. They have a pick. They, they do something that I know they're trying to clean up. Anvil has three really good weapons, kids you might not hear about, the Lancaster folks. Ricky Snyder, second in the league in rushing, 1,550 yards, back-to-back 1,000-yard -back seasons for him. He'll probably touch the ball 30-plus times on, on Friday. Tyson Hayes, the quarterback, kind of shared the duties last year with Jordan Jones, really came into his own this year, 12 touchdowns, four picks, that's it. He's been efficient. And Josh Henning, the wideout, has 36 catches, seven for touchdowns. So Anvil has some weapons. They're going to have to score. They're going to have to finish drives. They cannot turn the ball over, period. And, um, you know, I like the plus 12 turnover number. We'll see if they can be opportunistic against Catholic. But something tells me Catholic's just going to... Yeah, you know, just kind yeah. of take care of business here and get the section. And, and the Crusaders have one of the best defenses in the league, yes. and, and this certainly isn't the first team with uh, a lot of weapons on offense that Catholics yeah. run into. So, yeah. how do you see them matching up? Do you do you think do you see them slowing down Anvil Cleona on offense? Um, yeah, Catholic's defense is great. Number two in the league, 195 yards a game against. Mentioned the plus 14. They've only given up. 348 rushing yards the whole season. That's it. And 48 points. Too. And 48 points. Yeah. I mean, that's unbelievable. So, yeah, I think they'll have an answer for Ricky Snyder. Ricky may still get some yards, but, I mean, that's Catholic's bread and butter. They held Columbia to 20 rushing yards last week. Catholic's offense has been really good. Roman Clay should go over 1,000 this week. He's at 988. Brandon Hollister had three touchdown runs last week. Rhoda just continues to be efficient. Second-ranked quarterback in the league. Catholic's firing here. They want to win the section, wrap this up, get to Week 10 healthy, and figure out who they're going to play in Week 11 at this point. Yeah, I agree with you. I, I, I think the Crusaders are just in that mode where they, they just want to get to the end of the season, mm -hmm. get to the postseason, which is really, even though they they say week at a time, yeah. and, and they have done a good job of focusing on the task at hand, they have. but really they, they've gone into the season with an eye toward defending their District 3 championship sure. and, and moving on and making another run in the state sure. playoffs. So it, it's all about just getting there for them at this point. Mm -hmm. If they win out, they should get the top seed in districts, yeah. uh, which is big because it uh, gives them a, a, a easier road, if you can say sure. that, to, to the championship Home games. Game. So, uh, yeah, I, I think Catholic gets it done here as well. So don't forget, folks, if you can't make it out to the games on Friday night, be sure to stick with us here at LankSports.com. Jeff and I blog live from a, a game every week, and we will be updating all the scores from around the league, both in our live blogs and in the ticker that runs across the top of the main page. Uh, we will also be posting a video later on Friday night after all the games are in, sort of recapping all the action in Week 9, and we'll have all the final scores up within minutes of the final gun. So, Lank Sports is your destination on Friday nights. Thanks again for visiting the site, and be sure to enjoy the games on Friday.